and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Katie um, and I'm one half of our Wilding Adventures. Uh, Dean isn't here today. Um, you have got a solo vlog from me talking all about what I pack in my plane bag. Because um, if you're new, we are off on a pretty big holiday very, very soon. Um, I will leave a link to our um, vlog where we talk in more detail about our holiday. Um, but we're going to the west coast of America and Hawaii. Uh, we're going for three and a half weeks. We're going to San Fran, LA, two islands in Hawaii, and um, we're also then going to Disney, California. So it's a big, big trip. Um, very exciting, once in a lifetime, um, lots planned. And I thought today would be good as I start to prepare my bag for the plane that I would um, bring you along and show you what it is that I'm taking with me. I'm in no way an expert at these packing vlogs um, but I'll just give a bit of an overview of all the things that I take to help make my trips a little bit more comfortable. Um, I am a little bit of an anxious flyer, um, get quite nervous around the takeoff. Um, I'm okay once I'm up in the air but um, I have quite a few bits and pieces that I like to take with me just to make sure that I feel really comfortable on the flight. Um, that I've got things to keep me entertained um, and yeah just to take my mind off So I will start with my bag that I'm gonna put everything in. So I treated myself to a new bag this trip. Um, always personally like to have a backpack. Um, I will then use this throughout the trip as well. Um, one thing that I've learnt um, that I do quite like is having like a back support in my backpack. It just makes everything a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more comfortable and um, yeah, really then perfect for me to use as a day-to-day -day bag while I'm away just to save on some of the room in my suitcase. So this one has got a massive pocket at the front. It's got the all important side pockets for water bottles. And then inside, you can't massively see, but it's got a couple of compartments. Um, it's got room for my laptop, which is great because I'll be taking my Mac with me so that I can do a little bit of editing while I'm away and a couple of other pockets too. Um, it hasn't got the one at the back. Sometimes they've got sneaky ones at the back, which are quite nice but uh, this one doesn't. Um, this was actually from Superdry. I got it from the Ashford retail outlets, so it was meant to be £45 and I got it for £29.99, uh, which isn't bad. It's a uh, sort of like material, pretty hard wearing and uh, should be comfortable. So I'm very happy with this new bag. So I will break this down into sort of some of the categories of things that I'm taking with me. So first of all, liquids. Um, not in a very glamorous bag, they're just in the uh, security ready one. I use um, Ziploc bags, we buy them from Costco, and these ones actually had a little note on them, on the front of the box to say that they were is it TSA approved. Um, so I'm hoping that I can just use this one rather than having to get another one at the airport, it just saves on a little bit of time. I don't take much in the way of liquids on the plane, just sort of like a couple of essentials, um, which I will go through. Obviously, first and foremost, I was using this way before <laughs> the, the C word happened, but um, anti-back, don't go anywhere without that. I have also got some wipes somewhere, oh, they're in my medical medicine kit which I'll come on to um, but just in case I need to wipe down the tray tables or anything um, then also I don't normally do this but I have got a Robinson's Boost squash this is actually raspberry strawberry and acai if you know you know with the acai I'm very excited to try this one I'm sure it's not going to be the same as Starbucks but you never know um, just in case I get a bit bored of like water on the fly um, then I've also got some hand cream um, just some bath and body works fragrance mist just to make myself smell a bit nicer after an 11 hour flight um, and then also just some Carmex. I might add a little deodorant into here actually um, which I have got in the other room so I will probably go and grab that while I remember it because otherwise I will forget and that will probably be quite useful. Next up I wasn't quite sure where this fitted in terms of packing categories so one thing for me is reusable straws. 
Um, these are just coming with us in general for our holiday, but I thought I would put them in the plain bag as well, just in case there are like paper ones on there, then we've got these to hand and I'll just keep them in that Ziploc for the, the whole holiday. Um, then next, entertainment. This is probably one of the most important um, and my biggest selection of things that I've uh, got to keep me entertained on the plane. So first of all, I do not go anywhere travel wise without these. These are my Bose noise cancelling headphones. Um, I have them in this rose gold colour. Dean's actually got a pair as well. Um, the first time that we went to Florida he actually borrowed my dad's and then we went to an outlet and they had some and he bought his own. These are my must have item when I go on a plane just to sort of block out that background like humming noise that there is. Um, I can use them if I'm listening to my iPad um, because I could have them wireless or I have also got like a little cord in here as well so I can use them as part of the in-flight entertainment system. Um, these have been everywhere with me so a definite must. They're not the cheapest um, but for me they were an investment, they were well worth it um, and I'm very happy with these particular ones. Next up iPad um, again comes with me everywhere. There's a few different things that I've actually got on my iPad this time. Um, I recently downloaded um, after watching a couple of Brogan's vlogs um, and some Instagram stories, I downloaded an app called Readly. I'm on a two month free subscription at the moment. Um, I think there was a one of Brogan's vlogs that you could watch and, and you could get a, a referral code through her. Um, but it's actually really, really good. If you have a look, I've been able to download all of these um, different magazines. Um, I'd usually buy like one or two magazines for the plane, but here they're all on here. So I've got like Women's Health, Hello, a Crossword, um, a Run-In, just, just a few different ones, which I'm going to be able to have a little read of. I've never used an iPad for a magazine. So I always used to like the physical one, but I am trying to cut down on what I'm packing to take on the plane. So two in one here. And then obviously Netflix, and my Netflix is full of downloads. I've already downloaded a few, I was being mega organized. So the things that I have got are Selling the OC. Um, I love Selling Sunset, haven't watched any of this series yet, so I've decided to binge that on the plane. Um, there is a film called Falling in Love. It sounded really cheesy, I think it's a Netflix zone. I was like, let's put it on, a little bit of easy watching. Um, and then actually I have also downloaded a couple of things on my Prime video. Uh, I think the Downton Abbey film, the first one I've done because I had a look on Virgin and the second film is gonna be on the plane. So I was like, excellent, I can watch both of those. Um, and then, uh, oh, I also downloaded a couple of the Step Up films. I haven't seen them for years and I thought, you know what? I quite fancy them. <laughs> so uh, I've, I've downloaded them as well. So they are all ready. Now up next, um, we have got our tech, which sort of falls into the entertainment, sort of doesn't. Um, we actually have just invested in a GoPro. So we're gonna be using that. We've got one of those little sucker cups and that can help us film the takeoff and landing, which is gonna be really cool. So we've got a, well, I say we, Dean, I don't like looking out the window when we're taking off. Um, but we've got one of those um, and I have also got my MacBook. So I'm taking this with me so that I can do some editing. Don't plan on um, sharing any of our vlogs until we get home, but I do quite like to spend a little bit of time editing when I'm on a plane, especially if we've got quite a long time. It just sort of breaks up in between maybe watching a film and then reading or, or doing a bit of editing. So that always comes and it always comes in the hand luggage with me. Um, then, in terms of non techie entertainment, um, I haven't played this yet. It's coming on the plane. I don't know if we'll actually play it on the plane or we'll play it um, in like the lounge before we go, or actually it'll just come in my hand luggage and we won't play it at all until we get on holiday. But Dino Dump, it's by Big Potato Games. Um, I'm a big big potato games fan um one of my friends bought me one of their um games it was called herd mentality uh she bought it for me a while ago and i absolutely loved it and then i spotted that they had like these little games so i don't really know how to play this actually i don't know how to play this at all <laughs> um but we're gonna take it with us see what we think um then i've also and this is very apt i found this in 
Aldi, I think it was, ages and ages ago. Um, it is a Disneyland colouring book. Um, so it's broken down into like all of the different lands, like Fantasyland and Tomorrowland and all of the different rides. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get this. Um, and then I also have a little pack of Disney colouring pencils. Uh, I don't do loads of colouring, but I do know that it's meant to be very good for like distraction and anxiety. And I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna get that, just maybe something a little bit mindful that I can do for half an hour while listening to a podcast or just having like a familiar film in the background, just to take my mind off of things. So I've got that. And then also, I am a fan of a physical book. I do have a Kindle, but um, I just really like a physical book. So I've got two that I'm considering taking. I probably will end up taking both of them. One is called The Unhoneymooners, and this was actually recommended by my lovely friend, Sean, um, over at Napoli Ever After. She said it's basically about Hawaii and having a trip of a lifetime. And I was like, well, I need that for this holiday where I'm going. And then this is called I Love You, I Hate You. I haven't actually heard of Elizabeth Davis before. Um, I found it in the works. It was part of their three for five pounds. I thought it sounded quite good and it's only a couple of hundred pages. So this could actually be quite a nice quick read. So I might take this for on the plane and then have this one for actually when we get to Hawaii. So. That's what I think I probably will end up doing. I am taking a couple of snacks. We do usually have quite a big breakfast at the airport. We're actually, I can't believe we are, but we're flying upper class on this trip. Um, so we get to use the clubhouse before, um, but we'll still probably go and get like a couple of drinks and then stock up on some snacks as well. Um, but I am taking, and I haven't done this before either, but I've got some little pots. These were actually just from Poundland for a pack of three. And I've just put some jelly sweets in there. They're quite good for like the takeoff and landing. Um, so we've got those. And then we have also got a bar of chocolate. Uh, realistically, this probably won't last past us being in the hotel the night before because we're staying on um, the night before we fly just because we then haven't got to worry about the traffic in the morning. Um, but yeah, that might end up on the plane, some of it unlikely. <laughs> um, Dean has got one of these as well that he can put in his bag, but I'll keep these two. Then moving on to a couple of things that just make me more comfortable on the plane, slipper socks. Always, always, always take these with me. Um, if you get socks on the plane, I normally put those socks over my ones to stop them getting dirty if I need to get up and go to the toilet. But yeah, I literally just can't get on a plane without them. These ones I have had for years i've had them i got them from primark and they're not too fluffy and they've got grips on the bottom of them they're mrs potts who i absolutely love um and it sort of has just come a bit of a tradition that these are the ones that i bring with me i sort of that's just what i do now so they're coming i've also got a pair of leggings i know a lot of people um like to wear leggings actually like through the airport but I'm gonna wear my jeans um, and then maybe most likely get changed on the plane. I don't know why, um, I just quite like to do it that way. Um, so I, I've got those. And then I also do have a little blanket. I usually would take a bigger blanket or when we went in December, I took a scarf that was big enough to be a blanket as well. Um, but I've decided, I've just got this little one. It's a, it's, it's not huge. I think it's actually a baby blanket from Primark. Um, I originally bought it for Digby, who's our miniature dash hound, but I quite liked it. It's good enough just to like cover over like my feet or um, like snuggle up to, even use it as like a bit of a pillow, um, but it isn't gonna take up too much room in my bag like a massive, massive one would do. So that's coming with me. And then of course I have all of the essentials. So I, I won't go through the next section in too much detail because it may change by the time even this vlog's out um, and it depends on vaccination status and all sorts. But in here I have got our essentials. So I've got our COVID vaccine um, passes. Uh, I've also got our esters. You don't need to print those out, but I have got the confirmation. And then I've also got a printed out version of our travel insurance, just so that I've got all of the details um, to have and in case we need them. Then um, I have got our passports, very important. Um, and we have got some money out as well. We don't usually 
get money out for trips, um, especially in recent times. We would just use our credit card just because it was safer. But because we're going to Hawaii, we found that some places are actually cash only, especially some of the food trucks. So we have got some cash out that will be splitting across the two of us. And last but not least, I do oh, rattle. <laughs> I do have a medicine bag. So this has just got some of the essentials um, in here. I've got like some pain relief tablets. Um, I've also got my migraine tablets that I have on prescription, just in case I start to have a bit of a migraine on the fly. I need to get rid of that quickly. I've got some anti back wipes and some heartburn tablets. So that comes with me. This will then also end up coming out with us when we're out and about. Um, and I have got a bigger medicine um, bag which goes in the hold, which I can sort of like add to that's got like plasters and things that I don't need for the plane. Very last but not least, this again probably actually falls under the miscellaneous items. So this is our water bottle. Obviously I can't have it filled to go through security but as far as I know you are allowed to take these empty through um, I guess you just have to show that there's nothing in there if they check it on the security and then there are water filling stations trying really hard to reduce single-use plastic so if there's any way that I can um, I say just get like tap water rather than buying water at the airport then I will do that I think that that covers off everything I'm sure as I actually pack this away into my bag I am going to think think to myself there's something else that I needed um, but yeah this was a very very quick whistle stop tour of the things that I put in my bag just a bit of a chatty video that you can have on in the background um, and yeah just showing you what I'm packing so I'm now going to put this all in my backpack ready to go because we do leave very very soon um, please do hit like if you enjoyed subscribe to see all of our adventures because we have a lot coming up um, and the vlogs will be starting in October as soon as um, we get home and I've been able to sort of start to edit them but you can follow us along we will be doing stories and posts and maybe reels um, when we are away um, so I will leave our Instagram handle below uh, but for now thank you so much for watching and we will see you again very soon bye You'll be on my mind. I'll be dreaming about this.